Still on digitizing, today we'll be looking at how to digitize water body and subsequently river. So water body most so water body most of the times or at all times consists of a polygon and then rivers most of the times are just we use line to represent them. Alright, so we have an example of a water body here. And this is inside Abuja. I think this is around the Jabi Lake or something. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm going to come to, and then one thing you can also do on ArcGIS Pro, which you may not likely do on ArcGIS desktop, is that they've made a provision for topology here. So you could just enable topology and you can also check your they set the topology options to make any changes. So here is saying maintain features, contiguity, win editing. So once you enable it, it helps you uh, put you in check or something like that. Okay. So you click on the create future tools, and uh, we're going to select uh, water body here, and then it has said it's polygon. So we're going to just move and make selection along the river bank so let's reduce it a bit so that I can move all right so move Now here there is a bridge that cross over the lake or this uh, water body. But I'm still going to digitize. But then that rule still applies. When I am now digitizing that road, I will not um, create a node between them. Because it's a river that bridge was built on it. So it has to be shown and you have to make the machine know that uh, this one do na river and a bridge they make cars or humans pass on top. The machine has to understand it too. So I am done. So I'm going to click on attribute and then it has a name. So I'm going to fill in the name. I'll just say Jabi Lake. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Jabi Lake. All right. Then I will come back to, um, I'll come back to the, yes. I'm just going to come back to, um, To my water body so i'm done with this so now let's locate a a river so that we could demonstrate that of a point okay but first after you are done with it you come here and you save you can also discard so i can also check this so that i don't see it asking me a question anymore so i'll just say yes so once i say yes it won't be asking me a question again. It will just, yeah, it will just go on. So we have river here. I'm going to click on river now. And then it's going to tell me, ah, it's a line. Though. So I'm going to now 
follow the river you have to follow it from the beginning so i'm not going to be digitizing all of it i'll just be showing you this how you do it so let's say it starts from here you have to also know the flow of direction where the river flows from to so that you don't just digitize anyhow okay but i'm not looking at that direction because i'm not using uh, a satellite imagery i'm using the one that comes with that's the base map from the siri arcgis pro so because i need to zoom it so that it's clearer it become clear i don't want to make the video too long so i'll just digitize so you have to check for oh my battery you have to check for where the flow goes from and then you begin the, to digitize so you see i'll follow the river the way it goes it's just basically clicking of lines okay but then you have to master it by clicking the lines properly all right before my battery off i believe you understand and you've gained something from here so I'll bring this video to a wrap and i will see you in the next video but don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and stay tuned with us i personally love you and there's nothing you're gonna do about that bye